shit. He could be hurt. Uh, how? He's got diamond skin. He's gonna be fine. My guys are on it. Yeah, you're wrong, hun. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And today we're reacting to episode three of The Boys. So before I forget, first thing I want to touch on is a lot of comments have been left on the channel regarding my comment that I unknowingly made in episode <laughs> one, which was, I think, was it Starlight was being interviewed? Yeah. And I said, I feel like this is going to go to... This question is going to go deep. I feel like this question is going to go deep. And then, obviously, I referenced to my boy Deep and his lovely introduction. Your boy Deep? I don't know. He's not really my boy, but you know, who ended up living up to his name with Starlight later on, so... <laughs> Why are you surprised? That was, that's the whole joke. The whole joke is that he made her go deep, right? And his name's deep. I don't know why you're surprised. That was always the joke to begin with. Anyway, well, you didn't know that was a joke. No, like I knew, but not in that way, like in that context. I don't know. Anyway. Anyway, so those comments were funny. Gave us a good laugh. Yeah. I had no idea what I was saying at the time, but watching it back, it was, yeah, it was good. Last episode was crazy, and I feel like we're going to end up saying that about every single episode. Yeah, yeah. You guys have made it very clear this show just seems to escalate more and more, and I'm pretty much gather that from the first two episodes we've watched. Yeah. Last episode, we saw... So, we now know that Homelander isn't necessarily under the control of that woman, the one at the, at the head of Vought. Vought. He sort of seems to work independently sometimes. Yeah, like he goes over her head a little bit. Yeah, so he... But he's also a little bit emotionally unstable when it comes to her. Like, it's weird. Well, we saw him tear up a few times, it looked like. One when yeah. she was upset with him for taking matters to his own hand. And a second time when he was sort of spying on her through the... Like, he's portrait. portrait. Yeah. He almost looked, like, emotional or very, like, intense. I mean, it almost looked like a bit of lust there, but I don't know. It's a bit weird. It's hard to read him at this point. Yeah, I think, I think that's a good point. It is hard to read him. And then we also saw Translucent get blown to, to smithereens, blood everywhere, true to the uh, yeah. boys' fashion. There was a point where I was like, okay, it's going to be quite difficult to kill him. Like, they're trying everything, nothing's working. What are they going to do? But straight away, dead, that's it. Yeah, no, pretty smart to go, you know, his inside's not being yeah. as strong as the outside. A bit nerve-wracking at the end there when Homelander was right on the scene. I was like, fire, how are they going to get out yeah. of this? But... Just in the nick of time, they blew up that guy's warehouse. I don't even know what his name is, but he has sacrificed all his stuff for this. So Yeah. Billy Butcher owes him. Is it Billy Butcher? Billy Butcher. Billy Butcher owes him a lot. 40k plus this mountain of debt now. So Yeah. The thing worth noting is that that was Huey's first kill. So now I think mm. Huey's really going to... Because he pressed the button. Yeah. So I think his character may take a turn from this point onwards. Now he's starting to embrace the lifestyle, you know, slowly become okay with it. He made the decision to finally cross that line. Yeah. So we might see a bit of a change in direction of Huey's character. But the consequences of that, which we're going to look into this episode, I'm interested to find out because, I mean, they've crossed the seven and I don't feel like that's happened before, or at least not been mentioned. Yeah. So, you know, everyone, especially Homeland, is going to be pretty pissed. And how are they going to keep all clues off them? I mean, it's going to be sort of a race that's against I'm, time. Yeah, that's what I mean. I'm very curious to see. And I guess it's probably going to be a very small part of the show. But I'm just curious to see how the whole company deals with it. Deals with this loss of one of the biggest people, one of the most famous people in the world. So that's going to be quite interesting. Guys, remember, if you enjoy this reaction, give the video a like. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought of the episode or our reaction. And hit that subscribe button to stay up to date as we journey along in the boys. The support from you guys has been awesome so far. It's been so cool to meet so many new people along for the ride. And we're pretty excited. So we're looking forward to it. All right. Okay. Let's go. What's this episode called? X-Ray. Sorry, I feel like it's going to be. <laughs> Where did you read X-Ray? Get some. X-Ray's the. <laughs> I expect we'll be straight into it. Yeah. <laughs> it's always oh, straight into it. Oh, some of Translucent's flesh. Maybe off the roof or something? No, like it was on his face. I mean, it makes sense, right? Ugh. Damn. 
This show wastes no time. I'll take this. Merci. He's still like processing what's happened. They're just getting shit done, the other two. Yeah. It's blood smeared everywhere. Sorry about all the uh, don't be stupid. You did us a favor. <laughs> Interesting perspective. You are perhaps in a state of shock, one of me. Huey, you just ask Bond America, sweetheart. You can't just piss off. True, because Fee out of shock goes and like runs to the feds or something. Yeah. He also needs to keep a low profile, go see his dad, make sure like things are okay. No. Either he goes with you or I break your legs. <laughs> Richie doesn't seem like too bad a guy. Yeah. I thought it was going to be like a snake at the beginning, but it seems like he supports his boys. Where are you going to stash at Homelander again and find it? Nowhere. But we can slow the cut down a bit. Oh, they can't even burn his skin parts. Shit. Damn, that is a problem. Just throw it in the Atlantic Ocean or something. Just get rid of it. There goes this place too now. Uh, ha! Yeah. Huh, flash intro. I was gonna say, I'm gonna clean the walls, but nah, just blow it all up. Mr. Well. Hello. Please sit. She seems awfully happy. <laughs> this is so good for you. And it's so great for us. Because it is a partnership, after all. This is Seth and Evan Hi. from Marketing. They have some brilliant ideas on how to capitalize on all the buzz. Damn. Straight to the business, dude. Not all even right. a, an inkling of genuineness. Cry in her milk? Does she quit? No way! She adapts! She tra- <laughs> <laughs> She's still there reading it like a script. Hello, Brick Road. And hello, Starlight. They, like, want to sexualize her. Yeah. It looks like a nice outfit, but... It's not me. I designed Homelander's suit. This isn't my first rodeo. You're wrong. It's totally <laughs> you. It's bold. It's brave. It's feminist. It's feminist. <laughs> it tells the story of your transformation of what you're going through. How exactly do you know what I'm going through? Exactly. <laughs> Their faces. I'm fine with my old outfit. We're not. Damn. I said before, this is a partnership. In a partnership, there is give and there is take. It's my body. I have the right to choose how much of it I show. That is true. You do. You just won't be doing it in the seven. Damn, man. The seven has no dignity whatsoever. It's a complete... They're brutal, man. Like... A-Train versus Shockwave, the race of the century. The question now, Al, is can A-Train keep his title as the fastest man alive? Oh yeah, he's getting challenged. So there's more than one pe person that can have the same ability, I'm, I'm starting to understand. Yeah. Or at least similar abilities anyways. <laughs> he's still in like a butcher's outfit. Does he have posters of Homelander? Well, of the seven. Probably glorify them like most people, yeah. right? Yeah. Look, A-Train. Yeah. Without knowing what they're like. Damn, the ignorance. He'd be thinking. It's all getting ripped down. Not the computer, man. <laughs> okay. There goes the keyboard. Oh, not the photo. Imagine working your whole life only to be smeared on the sidewalk by some guy that can run fast. Like, jeez. So brutal. We've always been very open with each other, right? We, we've always told each other everything. Talk to me. Stop it. What do you mean stop it? Stop I mean it. I have never told you everything. I have never told you how much I hate sitting on that couch staring at the TV like we're already dead. Oh, no. How much I fucking hate pizza rolls. Now you love pizza rolls. When I was seven! Damn. <laughs> it's breaking his old man's heart. I know. But I get it. His dad does seem like a genuine guy. It's just like, it's a bit, a bit beyond him. He's like, you don't know shit. Like, I've killed someone. 
Yeah, you don't know shit about me. I'm not seven years old who likes the pizza rolls, you know? Yeah, and his dad seems pretty naive to the war going on in his head. Like, yeah. he's been reliving the trauma of his girlfriend dying every day. He's taken on the seven now, and as you said, he's killed Translucent. And his dad's just talking about, you know, watching a show, eating some pizza rolls, seeing a doctor. Yeah. He's like, dude, we're from different worlds now. I wonder how his dad is going to get muddled up in all this. I feel like at some point his dad's going to go too far trying to help him, and it's going to mess things up. It's a prediction. Essentially, yeah. I had that thought too. My father was a bipolar. One night when I was 10, he tried to smother me with a Hello Kitty duvet. Shit. Is that a you're lucky what you have kind of Yeah, talk, I couldn't or... tell where he was going with that. Because it doesn't really relate to his situation. <laughs> or maybe saying that, yeah, it could be worse. Who's, Who's this? this? Nah, me neither, Mr. Milk. Mr. Milk. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> like everyone just sees him and they know he's bad know. news. How'd you like to come back and have another go? Mm -mm. No, sir. Keep it to yourself. So he's the old team. Monique is back. We're good. Just. Oh, yeah? How is Monique? He spits on the ground every time your name comes up. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going to make a difference, I just feel more comfortable doing it on a smaller scale. I'm a motherfucker with a heart. Whereas you, you're just a motherfucker. <laughs> I doubt that though. Yeah. Because we just dusted a soup. Bullshit. Translucent. What the? <laughs> Spilled the beans in a big way. Now we play this right. We could shake up the whole hornet's nest, bring down seven, and vault at the. How would you take down Homelander? Like, he's like a super nuke. This is about Becca, isn't it? It's always about Becca with you. So he lost someone. I thought so. Are you bringing Frenchie back? Because I can't work with that motherfucker. Ooh. Frenchie, no, I haven't <laughs> seen him in years. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why it's Frenchie. <laughs> why change your tune? No one's changing. Here we go. Uh, it's just. It looks angry. Can't you make it stop? He's not crying. The bill needs to go. Oh, okay. He really hates babies or something. He could be hurt. How? He's got diamond skin. He's gonna be fine. My guys are on it. Yeah, you're wrong, hun. <laughs> you take care of your baby, and I'll take care of mine. Mr. Edgar wrote those personally. Ooh. So if you want to go to 82 and take it up with him, be my guest. Who's this? Mr. Edgar or something? Take it up with 82. Okay, there's some something that even Homelander would look think twice 82 about. was the level that his office is on. Okay. So he hates the baby. Well, was she, was he her baby at some point and then she actually had Maybe. a child? It's probably and like then, a jealousy thing, yeah. Yeah. But he, he's really hating the baby. Like, I was scared those beams were about to come out. Like, yeah, I have a feeling the baby's going to be a casualty at some point, too. This, I mean, this show is no chill, I just know. Bang on time. <laughs> Tell me Frenchie's going to be there. Oh, you mother oh, fucker! <laughs> Until this frog gets what's coming. The only thing that is coming is me and your mother and titties! <laughs> <laughs> I love his accent, too. You tell that to Mallory's grandkids. Tell them it's water under the bridge. That wasn't my fault, huh? Who is Mallory? All right, look, both of you, knock her on the head now! Maybe, oh, maybe those, maybe those kids were collateral. Mallory's grandkids were collateral or something. It sounds like it. And then, of course, never gonna give you up. Starts playing like yeah, biggest meme song. How about on my way home from work, I stop by DeLuca's, pick up two fat tenderloins. Some portobello mushrooms, that pinot that you love so much. Yeah, baby. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Ran from alpha to beta in like two seconds. <laughs> oh. Yeah, nah. You want to catch me dead doing one of those? <laughs> Fuck all of y'all, okay? I love Frenchie. He's like pissing it. <laughs> I'm liking the vibe between these, these boys. 
Did, did she? So we got a French whore and a Stephen fucking Hawking. Great job, Butcher. Well, it was Stephen fucking Hawking who dusted the suit. Mm, yeah, respect. Put some respect on your boy. I'll drop the check off ASAP. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well, that interaction a bit sus. You know, we don't actually need to sneak in anything. Look, all I need is her IPv6 number. And every desktop, every smart TV in the house has a camera on it. They probably have one in every room. Ah, uh, it's the brains. And we can get you all the way up to 1,000 Mbps. That's, that's a lot. Okay. Come on in. <laughs> Why is that my mom? <laughs> oh, it's a bit weird. The computer's right over here if you need it. Not narcissistic at all. I know. We're really big fans. I mean, Terminal Beauty 3? <sighs> Damn. Oh. Thanks. Yeah, that one really came together. <laughs> she's, a, she's a famous actress and can't pay rent? What the hell? Mm. Come on, man. Do your work. You gonna high fuck that all day? Let's go. <laughs> you gonna eye fuck that? That's great. Some great lines in this. They're online, boys. Damn. Huey to the rescue, my boy. John Hancock. Ooh, excuse me, but what are the chances of that, man? We want an autograph or something? He doesn't oh, even remember him. That's good. Yeah. <sighs> Haven't we met before? Don't say that. What? I meet a ton of people. Come on, man. Our meat is running out. Let's go. Let's get out of here. What a dumb ass. Why would you say that? that yeah. Uh... Not playing for little. That was intense. I mean, I get it because he wants him to feel something, at least feel bad for what happened, but. Ooh! She's got moves. Damn. <laughs> and all in hills. I don't know, I never went to the hills. <laughs> If something's happened to him, then that's a direct attack on the seventh, which is a direct attack on me. We've managed to make this about you in less than 20 seconds flat. So I feel like she's probably number two, because she seems to speak very freely around him. Captain, you guys are the real heroes. We're just glad we can help, right? That's right. Where's your shooter? Shooter's on 31. All right, sit tight. They were just casually talking while like people are getting shot out. Yeah. And still well with that muley baby. It's ridiculous. They're just people. But they snap their fingers and we jump. Why? Yeah. It's gonna Here be we go. You're the only one who tells me the truth. Interesting. Yeah. Job done. <laughs> Shit. Damn, man. No remorse. And he's making it slowly as well. I'm pretty sure he crushed his heart, his hand. But people are gonna know that he killed him. I got excited, I'm sorry. I'm sure you are. You know the drill. He shot at us first. I had a girl. Oh, my God. Wow. Jesus. Things I let you do to me. Yeah. We're not even dating anymore. Ooh, okay. okay. Interesting. She seems stressed about it. And one surprise after another, this show just keeps going to whole new levels. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get to watch soft porn with A-Train. <laughs> you know what Stillwell told me? If I don't win, I'm out. Nobody wants the second fastest man in the seven. Damn. That's Shit. brutal. Compound V, where'd you put it? Oh, yeah. 
You sure, babe? I mean, that stuff, it... Amps you up something fierce. Remember last time? Last time's not gonna happen again. Shit. It's like some sort of drug. Yeah. You ran through a girl, baby. I had a feeling that I was gonna say. Yeah, so it makes sense. That's why he seems so flustered, too. You did clear it with Stillwell. Look, our oh. time is gonna come, I promise. But I gotta get my leverage back first. Where's the fee? <laughs> Not a way to ask her, man. I know. Shit. Shit. Well, I can run some tests, of course. But there's no way of knowing unless I try so myself. Amazing idea. We'll cross that bridge and we burn it. <laughs> when we burn it. Because they could expose them too. They got footage of all this. Yeah. So poor Shockwave's going to be losing the each year to a guy that takes performance enhancers. But this is this is a bigger game than just exposing them right then and there. It's a long game. Yeah, 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 it is. It's a game of chess. So these are the boys. I like it. You want to know what's really messed up? In some ways, just right in that moment, it felt kind of good. Yeah. Mm. Thought so. But that rush, Huey... It's a little different than the shit A train shoots up. Everything comes with a price. True. Yeah, good contrast. Not glorifying it. The last thing I ever said to Robin was, don't you ever besmirch Billy Joel. That was the last thing that she heard before she burst into pieces. Fire. <sighs> the price, whatever it is, I'll pay it. Yeah, he's willing to go into hell now. He doesn't care. Damn. I wonder what his character development's gonna be like. I reckon he's gonna get darker and darker. Three. This is our legacy. It's full televised and everything. It's like Olympics for soups. These men are extremely powerful and very, very quick. Oh wow. She's hitting a bit of rock bottom there. Shockwave's better name than tra uh, a better a -train. name A Train, yeah. Introducing the newest member of the seven. Starlight. Yep, new costume. Shit. They've definitely the dolled it up. The hair's different. Yeah. <laughs> Wonder who's gonna be paying for that concrete. Let's hear it for my boy A Train. <laughs> all right. It's amazing how much of a, a facade it all it is. Did you? Did you sitting as are you fucking idiots? <laughs> Save your money. I like that one much better. Starlight. I need a minute. <laughs> Tell her, man. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to start like snaps. I can just see. What he after? <laughs> so, what does a race between two speedsters look like? Is it like a hundred laps or something? I don't know. You know. <laughs> oh no. If I ever really thought. He's gonna make a move. You'd fall in for someone else. I just. I don't think I can handle it. Is that so? Yeah, you and me. We're different. Better. Yeah, I was going to say, it's probably the one girl he relates to. <laughs> She's not dealing with no bullshit. So if she does get a partner, he'll probably kill him. Oh, yeah. Annie? He's just realised. Annie? Annie? Annie, hi. Huey? Oh. From the... <laughs> Throw in some overpriced nachos? Either way. <laughs> okay. Oh, man, he'll be Starlight. Like yeah. It. But tell me they're going to start dating eventually. Well, I can see her working for the boys at one point. Yeah. Must have he did somewhere else. We'll fucking find a Frenchie. Yeah, there's no way he just had it sitting there. And now it's just... No, I'm a freak. No, no, not a... No, that's not my... <laughs> <laughs> I just... I wasn't getting Beyonce vibes, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm messing with you. Okay. <laughs> Dude, poor Frenchie, I hate his job. I know. I don't know if they really want you to be a hero. I think they just want you to look like one. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. The other day on the bench, when you were talking about how much you hated your job, you meant you meant this job. Just walk away. I mean, you got nothing to prove. Mm, true. Hard question to answer. You know, get... Would you like my number? That's interesting, because, like, 
Robin just died. But you still see a bit of a connection with them? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, they're connecting through both realising that the Seven and the world of superheroes is kind of bullshit at the same time. Yeah. And both hurt by it in different ways. Even before that, they just connected on a deeper level before they knew... Well, before he knew, Huey knew that she was Starlight. Yeah. I'm out of here. I'll check in later. Where the hell are you going? Just want to see about a girl. Because remember he spotted something when he looked at her desk or something? I wonder what he did. Yeah. Okay, who's going to win? I reckon Homelander was the one to kill whoever it was that he lost. Potentially, yeah. He won. Dude, that's the race they came to watch. I don't even see the race. I know. Oh. <laughs> I respect Billy Butcher for just staring him down like that. That's mad. Do you reckon he, um, he recognises him? Homelander? Probably not. But I like that stare down. Hey, Train, how you celebrating tonight? Any special girl? Uh, well, you know me. Oh. I'm always in the game, but I'm too fast to catch. I'm open. <laughs> wow. So I wonder what happens when the human takes it. Will she take it? Oh. What for? Well, does she have any abilities or is she pure human? <gasps> oh, shit. Yeah, I thought so. I knew she had abilities because she said she's a B grade when he said yeah, he didn't true, want to be a B grade. True. I thought he just meant actress. But it's super enhanced her. Hey, Bobla. Mr. Lutz. Uh, Tell me she kills him. The rent you said you would pay? You should come in. I don't bite. Unless you oh. want me to. That was a joke, Alec. Oh. <laughs> Look at French's face. <laughs> I'm worried for this guy. Yeah, same. Like what you see? Huh? No. Oh, no. Yes. I mean, it's... Will she crack it if he rejects her? A lot of guys have a superhero fantasy. <sighs> oh, she's off the rails. He's so uncomfortable. Stop! In the name of the law! Oh no, Bob Glass got me. <laughs> what the hell? I'm loving it. Sit right here until the car. Oh. oh, she might actually choke him. What the? Oh my god, dude. Holy shit. This show is messed up, man. I mean, at least she's horrified at it. Unlike the others. Yeah. But you still ain't tweaked to the one weakness they all got. Their reputations. Damn. And then A-Train's gonna bail on her too. I need a moment. The gore in this scene. Man. <laughs> That's fucked up. Oh, oh my goodness. Like, that was next level. Yeah. Like, it just... Popped! Like... <laughs> yeah. Far out. That's pretty bad. I know at least once an episode so far, there's something really gory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because we haven't seen any like anything too gory so far, I was like, this is going to be the one. I don't know, mate. <laughs> I don't know, I <laughs> Whatever the price you'll pay. It. Right? He didn't know what that meant. Yeah. We're going to help you sort out this little mess. Far For a out. price. And all you got to do is tell us everything you know. About this. Perfect. Leverage. Mm. 
A fucking porpoise found this at the bottom of the harbor. Far out. They found it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Is that translucent? Still think we got nothing to worry about? I'm maniac. I'm smart, actually. He's figured it out. He doesn't know who it is. He knows how they did it. What can't I see through? Zinc, Homelander. Correct. And what's the box made of, Deep? Oh. Zinc. Correct, again. <laughs> so they were just buying time. Why do you say that? I'm so glad you asked. Damn, I write that. He's bald. They just declared war. Here we go! I wonder who's next. I think we should have a guess on who do you think is the most likely one of the seven to be killed next. But do you think they're going to kill another one of the seven? Yeah? At least one more before she starts to get, like... I don't know if it'll happen this season. At the moment, I think it's either A-Train, because A-Train is fast, but doesn't seem invulnerable. Right? And that's sort of the main theme of this season. I think that's the... So, either A-Train... I just think it's A-Train, to be honest. <laughs> Otherwise, maybe Black Noir. Only yeah. because he seems... But we don't know what his abilities are. Yeah. He just doesn't seem as strong as the others. I just feel like A-Train has too much of a storyline left. Do you know what I mean? Like Not really. He was... I think he was used as a vice to build up Huey's initial hatred. But now he's being pulled into this team, the boys, who have history of trying to take down the seven and failing and now revamping that because, you know, coming back stronger. So I think it's just sort of that all comes I don't know. I think it's going to be a smaller one. Actually, it's kind of small when you think about it. It doesn't seem to be, he's got his speed, but he really doesn't seem that incredible. You know I mean? Compared to Starlight, Homelander and Homelander's girlfriend, I remember her name, but the Wonder Woman looking one. Yeah. You know, they seem like a lot more bigger fish to fry. Deep still feels like he'll be there for a while. Uh, I feel like there's more to his story. A-Train doesn't seem too interesting at this point. Like, if he died in this season, yeah. I wouldn't be like, oh, we didn't understand much about him. It's just right. sort of like, again, that's just You're convincing thought. me a little bit, but I feel like it's going to be someone smaller, like Black Noir or something. Maybe. But, man, that scene. Oh, she crushed his skull by Slide. sitting on his face. That was brutal. But oh. Butcher has nerve. Like, just everything. Like, staring Homelander down. I mean... Even going to, what's MM? M Mother's Milk? Oh, yeah. Like going to him and saying, oh, no, nah, Frenchie's not going to be there. I like it, man. The guy's got balls. He's got balls of steel. That's Coming for you. I love <laughs> the message, too. Like, just, the only guys who are literally laying down the war to the soups, you know? You know when in Attack on Titan, small spoiler for anyone who hasn't seen season three, but when Irvin stared down the armor Titan, mm. that's the vibes I got when <laughs> Billy stared down Homelander. I was just yeah. like, like, balls of steel. But it is ballsy because it's like, okay, well, Homelander now knows someone's coming for them and they're declaring war. You're, you don't want your face to be seen. Like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, uh, that was brutal, man, but... I mean, the story, every time I watch one, like, I want to know what's next. Like, I'm just curious how, where they go to from here. Yeah. I, I really like in the pacing of the way the story is progressing. I just, yeah, I could see this. there's so much to this. It's like, when you think the story is going to go one way, it goes another way. Like, it's pretty good. Yeah. The writing is really great. Like, they've got a lot of just little quips and lines that, I don't know, just makes it fun. So, definitely big game changer now that we know they've got access to this performance enhancer i mean i don't feel like compound v yeah compound v i don't feel like people like homelander would necessarily need that and i don't feel like they use that but could that give the humans a competitive edge to come back if their body can handle it we don't know that yet but that's one question it I've seems got. a bit much i mean the, the soups can't even handle it yeah who knows but the other reason is why do they have this in the first place like, there must be some yeah. bigger scheme at play that they've, you know, they've got superhumans and yet you've created a performance enhancer for that as well. But that gives us a bit of insight, I guess, into why A-Train seemed a bit so Edgy, flustered. Yeah. But then again, why did he take it, though, still? Why did he take it that time? It mm. wasn't in a race. Was the situation that dire that he had to take it? Like, I don't know. I'm interested to find out as it unfolds. Well, did he come back from that club that we saw last episode and then he was going to that girl's house? 
So maybe he was just out of the Not when he ran over Huey's girlfriend. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because the club came after that. He was just telling his friend and laughing about it. No, but he can just hang out at the club. Mm, that's fair, but what evidence do we have to support that claim? Other than I don't know. I feel like lives? I remember them saying like where he was. No. Nah. Remember when he gave him the folder? Mm-mm. They were just saying he's known to hang out here. Not that. Anyway. If I'm wrong, they'll let us know, but uh, I'm confident. <laughs> And Starlight now. Like, we've got Starlight's details. Well, Huey does. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was kind of predictable, her yeah. coming in ally. But now, I think the conflict's going to be Billy's going to want to use Starlight, whereas Huey sort of sees the goodness in her. Mm. And I feel like Starlight's going to ca- get caught in the crossfire at some point. Yeah. She's going to be a necessary ally until she isn't. But I feel like eventually she's going to find out what Huey's doing and he's going to be so against it. No, I reckon she'll join her at some point. She, she's maybe, maybe she's eventually, maybe yeah. eventually. But look, not saving people and the facade is getting to her. Let alone, like, what yeah, these guys are doing. Once she realizes, she still hasn't seen how corrupt the seven are. And I think once she realizes that, mm. she's gonna hate it. I mean, eventually. every episode, she's only hating her job more and more. She's yeah. realizing that it's just you know all full of shit. Yeah. But I think that'll be way later. I don't know how yeah. if that'll happen this season. All right, guys, that's been our reaction to episode three of the boys. We hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and stay tuned for episode four. We'll see you guys on the next video. Until then, take care of yourselves. See you guys.